my friends, my beautiful friends. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. This is part two of one of my recent bins hauls. So hopefully you've seen the first half of this haul already. If not, it doesn't matter. You can jump into this haul. So <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. I appreciate you being here. If you happen to be new, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark. I've been doing it over 10 years. And I go to this place called the Goodwill Outlet Bins where I dig through giant bins of clothing and then pay by the pound. I'm here in Northern California and my bins is $3.49 a pound, which is extremely expensive for a bins, but it works out for me to be about $2 an item if I... Here's my cart. I need to sort all this. Probably almost all of it will be going back because it's that kind of day, but I might get these for my son. Whoopsie, that's so me, of course. It's gonna tip over during my cool montage. Right. Okay, I could cry because <laughs> I've been in here so long and now I still have to go to the post office because it's Friday and I have my packages and they haven't been shipped out yet so I don't get to go home and eat yet. It's like 12.45, I haven't eaten, barely had any water. It's like boot camp, thrifting boot camp. <laughs> I got 50 pounds today, the most I've ever got. Is that right? It was 160 something dollars, which is more. 169.27, 48 pounds. It's a lot, it was a rough day in there, but I did good. I love my friends, I saw Renee and Catherine, they're so helpful, makes it so much better thrifting with friends. I totally joke around with my friend Catherine, like I'm not calling mean Catherine, but, <laughs> but she's not just because she makes me stay. It's sort of a joke. We're just joking, you guys. She has a sense of humor, so don't worry about her. <laughs> All right, let's do this post office thing and let's get home because Wemby needs to eat and drink water and go pee. <laughs> Let's jump right in um, with some of the stuff I got. So this is kind of a bolo because it's Victoria's Secret, but it's vintage Victoria's Secret. There we go. Um, see that gold label? So I'm gonna list this as vintage Victoria's Secret gold label. This is a robe and it's 100% silk. It is missing the belt. It has the ties on the inside, but it's missing the belt that goes around your waist. I just figure, use one of your other belts. <laughs> Comps on those, it, it's really hard to sort out, but I'm probably gonna list that run around $35 with best offer. This was a surprise and I really love this. This is a 100% cashmere little sweater. It's cropped and it has a hood. So that's super styly, and it's by Kenzie, and it's a size large, but Kenzie, I just think of Kenzie as like a kind of a basic brand, maybe younger women's, but this is 100% cashmere, and I figure I'm still going to list it now because it's kind of lightweight, and um, it's cropped, so even in spring and summer, I'm filming this at the end of May 2023. I'm like a, f a few weeks behind in video. So if you follow me on Instagram, come follow me there at The Grateful Queen. I share more kind of up-to-date stuff and more thrifting stuff over there and reselling stuff. So I'd love to see you on an Instagram, but I'm like weeks behind on the videos. So I'm just telling you that for some reason. <laughs> Takes me a little bit to come home, film it, edit it, and then I'm already like, so you're seeing what I got like two weeks ago. <laughs> I wish I was better at that, but I'm a full-time psychotherapist. I have another channel called The Grateful Therapist, all about mental health. I work a lot with families and teens, so 
if you have a teen, you might like some of the stuff over there, or if you're interested in personal growth and that sort of stuff, come find me at The Grateful Therapist. This, I love the style on this. Yes, I usually find like boho -y things. This has got everything. It's got crochet, lace, eyelet, and it's American Eagle, and it's a size large. It has a balloon sleeve. See how it goes out to an elastic? That's a balloon sleeve. This is like a crochet knit. So if I'm listing this top, I'm going to put American Eagle women's top size large cropped lace crochet embroidery boho. And this is actually like a lightweight uh, flannel, but it's got linen in there. So if it's a, if there's a good fabric, I will write in my title and description, linen, silk, tensile, lyocell, whatever it is. This is Abercrombie. Um, I bought this for style. It is a mini skirt in corduroy. Corduroy has been very popular. This is a size 10. Look at the little flower lining. So taking a chance on this from the bins, I think it's kind of a cute little seasonal mini. This is such a cool top. I bought this not knowing the brand because of the style. So it's like a Western snap front, and then that's all heavy embroidery. It has what's called a pearl snap button. So a lot of Western shirts have these snaps, and it's like opalescent or pearl-like, so you call them pearl snaps. The brand on this is Rock and Roll Cowgirl, which I just think is so cool. It's embroidered in the back. It's a sleeveless top. Um, Comps on this are kind of all over the place. I guess there's a rock and roll cowboy too. So it's a specific like style. So I don't know, I'll probably list this around $20. I got some handbags, so that's sort of fun. If you've been following along, then you'll know that my bins was closed for three years. It reopened. It's only open Friday and Saturday from nine to three. <laughs> they keep saying they're gonna add more, but they haven't yet. It's just clothes, but then a couple weeks ago, they did add shoes and purses. So, and they say they're going to add hard goods soon, which I'm, I'm looking forward to, to because I do find cool stuff. Hard goods is like electronics, ceramics, anything that's not clothes, essentially. But when they open that up again, it's going to get wild at my bins. Right now, it's so chill. I'm enjoying it so much. There's not a ton of people there. There's not any fights. There's not any loud craziness. It's really chill. Once the hard goods comes, I think that's going to change. I bought this because it's a Banana Republic and it's an XL men's shirt and it's luxury touch. So this is a men's polo shirt in like a diamond print with that luxury touch. The fabric feels great. I, w I bought this because it's an XL. I, I buy a lot by brand. That's the thing I look for first. Then I'm looking at size. I make exceptions for a lot of things that are plus size or size XL. I buy things for fabric. If it's linen, I'm going to consider picking it up. If it's 100% silk or 100% Lyosol Town Cell, I'm going to consider picking it up. Pima Cotton, P-I-M-A, high quality cotton. I'm going to consider that. Here's another one of these um, corduroy mini skirts. This is American Eagle. I love that American Eagle will often put the name of the skirt right here. The high rise A-line skirt, and this is a 12. So I think I've got kind of a trendy piece, a trendy lavender color, and it's a large size. And this probably cost me at $3.49 a pound. This probably cost me a dollar. 75 or something maybe. This is a cool new to me brand. And um, I didn't even look it up in the store because I thought the style was so good, okay? They're corduroy and they have that little belt. And look at the wide leg on these. Super wide leg cropped. So a wide leg crop is very popular right now. This is Little Lies. Little Lies is a brand out of the UK, I've learned. They have done collaborations with Free People because I saw some uh, Free People times Little Lies uh, pants when I was doing my research. It comes out of the UK, did I say that? And, um, but there's not a ton of it listed. They describe themselves, their website's kind of cool. It's like rock and roll clothing or something. <laughs> 
So it's a lot of like band tees, super wide like pants, crazy ripped jeans. So I'm gonna give these a shot. Um, they have intentional distressing because it's throughout, see on the waistband and on the leg. I'm gonna put these up high and try and use some really good keywords and hope I get those sold. It's kind of tricky. Oh, we're coming up to the handbags. It's kind of tricky, like when you go to look something up, Little Lies, and there's only like 25 things listed. It's a very small market. So I have to work extra hard on my title and description to try and get those found. These are Old Navy joggers, and I have sold every pair of Old Navy joggers that I've listed. Just Old Navy, just a medium. But these are olive green. If it comes down to an ankle like this, it's called a jogger if there's elastic at the ankle. And I'm probably gonna get like $12.99 plus $5.99 shipping or $14.99 plus $5.99 shipping. These are like a, a viscose, so they're more of a silky jogger. I've sold every pair of Old Navy joggers that I have listed. So I have no, I have no problem flipping things for 12 or 15. I really hope to flip things for more than that. But I think having a lot of flow in my store and having a lot of sales and having a lot of things to list, eBay will hopefully push out some of my higher dollar items. And that seems to be the way it goes. Like, okay, these are Girlfriend Collective. This is a really cool brand. They do a lot of like eco fabrics. These are recycled polyester. These are a high rise skinny legging. They're actually called the compression legging. I've sold them before. And, um, I can probably get like $30 for these, but I still, these are an extra small. I still get really excited to find it just because it's kind of a, a cool brand, I think. Girlfriend Collective. Uh, if I got it, I found before a pair of, le a couple pair of leggings and some bike shorts and they sold pretty quickly, not like super high money. Okay, here's the bags, bags, bags. I'm not letting myself buy shoes. You should see the shoes are so competitive. People run for the shoes. There's a lot of money to be made in shoes. So if you have the patience and the time to clean the shoes and polish them up and all that and list them and store them, um, I think you could make really good money. I've sold shoes all the years that I've resold and I like the profits on shoes, but I'm not good at setting aside a few hours to clean them and let them dry and then polish them up and then Storing them is a little harder for me, so I'm not really doing shoes right now unless they're ready to go. That's what I'm telling myself. They have to be exceptional or like ready to list until I start getting better at doing that. Gotta hold yourself accountable, resellers. You can't just go out there and shop, shop, shop and not do the work. This I bought for style. I don't know if I can sell it, it's so good. It's a wicker circular bag. These are super trending right now. Maybe I'll take it on my vacation. It's lightweight, so it probably cost me three bucks. Uh, it looks new, like it really doesn't look used. It's Universal Thread Target. I love this brand Target, and I sell it all the time. Not for big money, but maybe I'll take this. I have to go to a wedding in a couple weeks in Mexico. Does not sound so bad. I have to go to Mexico for a wedding. Ah, I'm so. I was just in Mexico for vacation for spring break. And now Peter's nephew is getting married. And I didn't think I was going to go because I was just there. It's a very expensive trip. It's at a she-she modern Mexican hotel. But Peter really wants me to go, so I'm going. I think I found a dress. I've been talking a lot about trying to find a dress. I found a Ted Baker dress at Nordstrom that's pretty gorgeous. Maybe I'll show it to you if I remember. I figure I'll show you the dress in case you're interested. If you're not, this will only take a minute. Okay, this is the Ted Baker dress. It's a semi-formal wedding. Okay, semi-formal. So I was like, oh no. I don't know if I like any of the dresses that I'm seeing that are semi-formal. But, um, so I wanted it to be very me, even though it's formal. So I got this Ted Baker dress. Ted Baker, really good brand. And this is a long, kind of like a maxi gown. And it's got a cool back and I should and um, look at the sides are cut out with some crochet so I have to get some special underwear I haven't really figured that I haven't figured the special underwear part out yet it's very long and it's a sweater knit 
but it feels silky. It's like a silky sweater knit. So that's the dress. I'm sure I'll be showing you some photos from the wedding in the dress. Okay? All right. Um, so anyway, this could be fun for vacay. All right, isn't that cute? Would you have got that? This is a coach purse, I'm gonna talk about it because I just have to be straight with you guys about all this, okay? This is, I think, an older style, but I think it's pretty classic, and I did think to myself, maybe I'll keep it. Um, so this is a coach purse. It is black pebbled leather. See how there's texture to that leather? leather. This is called the turn lock. This is what they put on all their vintage coach bags. If you can find the vintage coach bag with the turn lock, they sell well. It has the charm on it. And um, it's actually in really good shape. It has the label inside that has the number on it. You can look these numbers up to try and find a style name. Here's the thing. God, this is really in great shape. I mean, it's got a little bit of but the bottom's not that bad. So in the past, I've really tried to sell coach bags with an authentication. So I bought, a few years ago, I bought a lot of coach bags. I think it was like, God, was it 20 bags or 40 bags? It seemed like a lot. I bought it on the website shopgoodwill.com and each and every bag came with a piece of paper that was its certificate of authenticity. You'll see it in listings on eBay and stuff, C-O-A. It'll say like black pebbled leather um, crossbody bag with C-O-A, certificate of authenticity. So I have to decide, do I wanna sell this without a certificate of authenticity? Or do I want to pay $20 to a site like authentication.com? You, you send in all the pictures of the hardware and everything and because Coach uses certain hardware. You're looking for certain quality. Now, it's my belief that this is 100% authentic. I've sold so many Coach bags. You look at the font. You look at the hardware. You look at the stitching. But I would never want to sell something and have somebody go, I don't know if this is genuine. So I have to think about that. I might keep it. I might list it. And I might put in my listing all the details of why I think it's authentic. It's authentic, people like that, like, um, cause Coach is a brand that's highly faked, but I'll tell you, I have not had a hard time spotting the fakes. <laughs> Some brands, it is hard to spot the fakes because they do such a good job on the fakes, like Hermes and stuff. The fakes are so good now that it is very difficult, but the, the Coach fakes feel cheap to me. Moving along, <laughs> I bought this one for style. This is a cute little, why does the strap look short? Oh, cause it's tucked in here. It is a little short strap though. Is this a crossbody? I guess it's a shoulder bag. Cause the strap's kind of short, I'm realizing. A little brown distressed leather shoulder bag with gold hardware. And this one is from, I think it's Liz Claiborne or something. Oh, Leather Co, yeah, Leather Co Liz Claiborne. This might be vintage actually, now that I'm looking at this tag. So with a bag like this, I'd be wanting to sell it on style. I'm okay if it's a brown leather distress. I'm, I'm, I don't worry about every little scratch because we want them to look like that. We, we don't want them to look absolutely perfect if it's like a certain style of, of distressed leather bag. So that one is good. This one, the woman found next to me and I really was, told her to get it. I think it was so cool and it looks so good on her, but she doesn't buy that much stuff. I think she only sells a little bit. This is a crossbody and it's in a soft distressed gray leather. But what I love is these brown accents. And this is by um, Elk. E-L-K, Elk. I really love the size. These are all genuine leather. I don't buy fake leather bags. Um, and here's the name again. Elk has this nice chambray lining. It's very, for pre-owned, pretty darn clean lining and everything. So I do have a video on my channel from a couple of years ago called How to Clean Your Designer Handbag. 
That video is one of the best performing videos on my channel. I think it has like 30,000 views or something. So you can check that out. These don't need a very serious cleaning. I don't want to do serious cleaning, okay? I want to do just a little bit of cleaning. <laughs> okay, this is a J. Crew, and it is one of these denim shirts. Just a classic, again with the pearl buttons. Classic lightweight denim chambray shirt. I picked those up when they're a decent brand. They're just kind of a classic thing that does okay. This I have to do more research on. It feels amazing. It's another, I think it's a robe, or it could be an athleisure hooded cardigan, but it might be a robe. <laughs> I think it's a robe, okay? Felt so amazing. I'm like, what is this? And here's the label. It's a collab. Mate times parachute. Now, mate, I usually see as mate the label. And that's a great brand. I'm not familiar with Parachute. Um, so I, this is a collab where I think they did like high quality sleepwear. Again, this does not have the belt. If you're going to donate your robe, guys, <laughs> put the robe belt in and then knot it right here so we don't keep finding things that have no belt. But this is all something I really hope to learn more about that brand Parachute and learn more about Mate the Label because I think that's a good piece right there. Okay, some more pants for my son Torvald. Ooh, actually these are big in their new tag. So I'll have to decide. These are Under Armour, youth size large. I think I'll just hold on to these till he's a little bigger. Do you need that information? Probably not. <laughs> this is a cute little Victoria's Secret Sports bra. Victoria's Secret Sport sells pretty good. That's probably only a $12 or $15 item. This is a Nike hoodie, and I just love the style. It's Nike dry fit, and it's a size medium. I've told you before, I don't do a ton with Nike because I just don't know enough about what's hot and popular, but I like this because it's a, a longer length hooded sweatshirt. The material feels amazing. It has thumb holes, and I thought, Someone would want that. This is more me though. <laughs> Did I tell you guys I might have been one of my last videos? Did I tell you I went to Torvald, my son Torvald um, goes to an arts charter school. His art classes integrated into the school day, fine art, dance, drama, digital art, and the art teachers coordinate with his regular teachers so that they're finding ways to integrate what they're teaching the kids and teach it through art as well. Anyway, when I went to his recent drama performance, several girls had on these skirts. These remind me, these are like 60s, 70s. Um, this is a wrap skirt, a true wrap. It's not gonna fit me, I think it's kind of small. But they had on these and they looked so cool with their sandals and their full ethnic boho hippie skirt. So I'm like, wow, these are really trending. So I'm picking those up, kind of regardless of brand. Thank you so much for continuing to watch this video. I do appreciate you. Thank you for all your supportive comments. We're not done. I just want to take a moment and appreciate you. Um, I appreciate your comments. They keep me going, friends. I got this because it's Ann Taylor and it's a size 14. Ann Taylor. There's so many lines of Ann Taylor, too. There's Lou and Gray. There's Loft and probably Factory and all sorts of things. Corduroy pencil skirt. I will steam that up. I love my steamer. Oh, more linens for me. My friend Catherine was there and I was joking. I collect all these. I got to show you some. I keep saying I'm going to. Here's an example of some of, the, some of the linens I like to collect that I have in little baskets and things all over my house. This is all, you know, hand stitched because that's what women did. And I just think it's so beautiful that I have lots of it. Here's this armoire filled with <laughs> lots of quilts and linens and things that I can't resist at the thrift stores. This one's a kid's one with ice cream cones on it. It's not all vintage, so it's different, but this one is a little kid's vintage quilt. Oh, it just brings me so much joy and people put so much effort into these things. So I love to save them from 
a thrift store. I'm going to. This is all hand embroidered. And I said, Catherine, don't tell Petey that I'm getting more linens. <laughs> I have this whole armor right here that's for my linens, my quilts, my tablecloths, my little vintage. The feeling on these, they just don't make them like this anymore. The feeling of this linen little napkin. Anyway, she's like, well, I don't see PD. I'm like, oh, right. <laughs> Catherine is one of my, you know, viewers who's become a thrifting friend now. But it's not like she sees PD or anything. <laughs> Okay, this is a really good brand. This is Vince, V-I-N-C-E. This brand is so expensive. It always sells for me. It's not a quick flip usually. I mean, this is just a blue, really soft top, but it was probably, you know, $140 or something. It's so expensive, this brand. The quality's really good. Um, I pick up the pants. I pick up whatever in Vince, and it's never, it's, I don't wanna say never, but it's not usually a quick flip but it's a good, a good brand and it does flip. This is Anthropology Sparrow. Sparrow, Anthropology. This is a cardigan, a gray lightweight cardigan, and it has a fringe trim. I think this one I needed to throw into the wash. There's a lot of brands that have been carried at Anthropology, so it's like, you find a piece like Cloth and Stone, for example. Some of their pieces are carried at Anthropology. Some are not. So do you put Anthropology in your title? I usually do because there's many pieces of Cloth and Stone that say Cloth and Stone for Anthropology. But there's lots of brands like that. But if you want to know for sure, it would be on this material tag like this Sparrow sweater. I can recognize the tag and you can see the R R R N number 66170. And it says imported for anthropology. So this piece, not just the brand Sparrow is sometimes carried at anthropology, but this particular sweater was carried at anthropology. You get it? <laughs> this, I love this dress. I loved it so much I bought it even though it's tiny. This is a sheath dress by J. Crew. It's the black label J. Crew, which is a more expensive line of J. Crew. I have to run this through the wash. It's a size zero though. Eee! You know, I buy all sizes when it's a good piece, but larger sizes just sell quicker and better for me. But um, I just love the print on this and it's kind of a structured fabric. It's got its pockets. It's just such a cool piece. That has to go in the wash too. I have a couple Bolo brands to finish up with. I've got this Eileen Fisher size medium. I just can't tell you how exciting it is to find Eileen Fisher at the bins, you know? Any thrift store that has a marked up section, if they find this, they're going to mark it up. This is a light weight uh, cardigan sweater. So I'm just checking. And this is made of tensile lyle sew and merino wool and alpaca. Boom! That's a really good material contents. Very light and thin. So that's exciting. This is a, a bag that I got. It's totally distressed, but it's such a good brand and I love it. I don't even know if I'm going to try and clean it up. Crossbody with fringe. Give me some fringe. Fringe, fringe, fringe. Fringe, fringe, fringe. It's like a little mouth. Ooh. Anyway, I love this. It's by Bed Stew. Bed Stew makes boots and they're very expensive and desirable. So that was pretty cool. This is totally distressed. I mean, look at it. It's kind of a beat up. It's got some darkening here. I will do some um, research on their bags because like Freebirds, like some other brands, Bed Stew will often have things that look distressed. Like you pick them up, you're like, oh, these look nailed. Oh no, they're doing that on purpose. Like the beat up cowboy boots sort of thing. I'm not sure on this one because the leather varies so much. Um, so I will look around. I'm very honest in my listings. I show you everything. I put my little fingers going whole flaw pills. So um, I'm still going to try and sell it. I love you guys. I love your comments. I read them all. Some of you have been giving me such positive feedback lately and I appreciate it. It helps me know what to keep doing in the videos for you, how long you want the videos to be. 
So um, thank you for that. Thanks for making it this far in the video. Hopefully there's some bloopers for you coming up because there's almost always bloopers. <laughs> I'll see you next time, friends. Bye. Are you there? I can't tell if this is blurry. What's AF? No, I do want the AF. I'm at the AF. Oh, there it is. Okay. Getting it set up. I can't tell if I'm super far away, super close, super far away. <laughs> I have to keep this separated. Oh, I'm telling you all the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, yeah. To help, to like, no, how do I say this? Right, what do we think of this shirt? Can't quite decide. It's that baby doll style. So, I don't know if that's flattering on me. I'm 47 years old. It's probably fine, right? Do 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 do